Who here loves mashed potatoes? Because being completely honest, I could live off them. I love them so much. And the traditional kind is filled with cream and butter, which is fine. But I try to stay away from dairy because it makes me break out, which sucks. So I am going to be sharing a mashed potato recipe that has no dairy at all and is still just as delicious and creamy. These are my olive oil mashed potatoes. I've made them the past two years at Thanksgiving and everyone loves them, so I'm so excited to share them with you guys. You only need three ingredients. First up, olive oil. And please don't mind the fact that it's totally squished. We dropped it. And then we've got potatoes. You can't have mashed potatoes without potatoes. And last but not least, salt and pepper. And that's all you need. So, so easy. The first thing you gotta do though is prep these potatoes. We are using Yukon Gold potatoes. They taste a lot better, they're creamier, and they have really thin skin, so it's a lot easier to peel. Now, I'm gonna cut these potatoes into cubes, and I wanna make sure they're all the same size, because if they're not, you'll get some pieces that are undercooked and some that are mushy, and we don't want that. And I cut them pretty small, because the smaller you cut them, the quicker they'll cook, and the sooner you'll get to eat your mashed potatoes. I always put my potatoes in like this because if I put it in all at once, it'll splash the hot water all over me. I'm gonna cook the potatoes for about 10 minutes or until I can put a fork through it and it's really soft. All right, let's check one, shall we? Oh, see it goes right through. I'm gonna strain it before it overcooks anymore. So I'm just gonna let these sit here and let all the water drain out and when they sit here, since it's still hot, the moisture will evaporate, so that way you don't get watery mashed potatoes. So my potatoes are ready. They've been sitting for a little bit, and I'm gonna put them in this giant bowl. All right, I'm gonna grab one more giant bowl, and we're gonna start mashing. I'm gonna use this thing, which is a potato ricer. And the thing that this does is it makes it super, super smooth and a lot more creamy than something like a basic potato masher would do. So, let me show you how this works. You're gonna open it up, and it looks like a giant garlic press, I know. Now what I'm gonna do is take a spoonful of potatoes and put it in the ricer like this. We're gonna close it up, make sure that that metal part goes inside, and we press. Now as you can see, we're basically getting like these mini strands of mashed potato. Definitely need to make sure that your potatoes are fully cooked, because one year I didn't cook them all the way and I tried to put them through this ricer and it was pretty much impossible. Now the thing is, this recipe is not really a recipe. I'm sorry, I know, I always hate when people do that, but it's true, really, you just put in as much olive oil as you want until these mashed potatoes become the creamy consistency that you want them to be. So I'm just gonna sort of eyeball it, do a little bit at a time until I get the perfect mashed potato. You don't wanna work it too much because it'll get gluey, but look how perfect this is. They're smooth and creamy. Oh. All right, we're gonna add in a little bit of salt and some pepper, and we mix. All right, let's give these a taste. Mm. I love mashed potatoes so much. These are incredible. They're fluffy, creamy, and then that olive oil, it's not overpowering, but it adds another element of flavor and a depth, and it just makes this whole entire dish so, so good. Now, if you're anything like me, you could eat these by the spoonful, just in a bowl by itself. But today I actually made these for dinner, and we're gonna be pairing this with, drum roll, steak. Who doesn't love steak? Unless you're vegetarian, I'm sorry. But I made my flank steak, which we have that recipe and video on my website, but we'll also link it in the description box. And some grilled veggies. We've got broccoli and we have peppers for some color. Guys, I really, really want you to try this mashed potato recipe. It's so simple, it's so delicious. Make it for a regular dinner, for Thanksgiving, whatever you want, it's heavenly. And I'm not gonna talk too long because I'm getting hungry and I kinda wanna go eat this for dinner. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!